26 Shemini section 1 Man was created by the Torah Rabbi Yitzhak says that the children of Israel are blessed because God gave them the Torah and that man was created by the Torah Rabbi Shia says that the written Torah and the oral Torah preserve man in the world Rabbi Shimon tells how the, the initial letter of the Torah shows how the Torah is open to receive a person and join with him on one side but if he walks the other way it has a closed side there is more. Discussion of the inner meaning of the bet we learn that everyone who studies the Torah is beloved above and below but even more so are those who study the Torah at night later in the morning all the judgments are broken one and it came to pass on the eighth day Vayikra 91 Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion saying when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of Elohim shouted for joy Yo 387 blessed are Israel because the Holy One blessed be he has given them the Holy Torah. The joy of all the joy of the Holy One blessed be he and the place where he walks as is written and I was daily his delight Mishlei 830 the whole Torah is one holy name of the Holy One blessed be he by the Torah was the world created as it is written and I was by him as a nursling have a moon do not pronounce it as a moon but as a moon which is literally an artificer for it was his instrument of art for the creation of the world too and man was created by the Torah as it is written and Elohim said, Let us make man. Beersheet 126 written in a plural form. The Holy One blessed be he said to the Torah, I wish to create man. She replied, This man is destined to sin and provoke you unless you are long suffering with him. How then shall he endure? And he replied to her, You and I shall maintain him in the world, for I am not called long suffering for no reason. Three Rabbi Shia said that the written Torah, which is Zeir and the oral Torah, which is Mal, should establish man in the world as it is written, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Written in the plural form, Rabbi Yossi said that we learn from that verse that which has been already done lit by them. Kahila 212 by them. Assuredly, in the plural form, it is the image and the likeness who have both made man an image by the masculine principle, which is Zeir and called image and likeness by the feminine principle, which is Mal, called likeness. Mal, is called likeness. Hedimit, which is Derived from silence, Hadima Mafra, she has nothing of her own save what she receives from Zeir and Man's soul was created from the unity of Zeir and Malchut, therefore it is said in our image after our likeness. That is the reason why the Torah begins with the letter Bet equals 2, for it alludes to Zeir and Malchut. This has already been explained for Rabbi Yitzhak said, Why is the Bet open on one side and closed on the other? He explains that when a man comes to attach himself to the Torah, it is open to receive him and to join with him, but when he closes his eyes to it and walks in the other way, it is closed from the other side like the Bet as it is written, If you forsake me one day, I will forsake you too. There will be no opening until he returns to attach himself to it face to face and never abandons it again. Therefore, the Torah first approaches men calling to them to you, O men, I call Mishlei 84, and also she utters her voice in the square, she cries in the chief. Place of concourse at the entrance of the gates in the city she utters her words Mishlei 121 5 Rabbi Yehuda said the bed is a form of two roofs and one line joining them what does it signify one roof above is for heaven which is Zeir Anpin and the other below for earth which is Malchut the Holy One blessed be he who is Yezid unites them and receives them six Rabbi Lazar said there are three supernal holy lights namely three lines connected together in which the whole Torah is comprised they open the gates to everyone and have influence on faith which is Malchut and they are like a house to everyone therefore they are called a house for the three lines of the bed alluding to the three columns of Zeir Anpin are a house head the Torah commences therefore with that letter for it is a house and a remedy for the whole world seven therefore he who is occupied in the Torah is as if he is occupied in the holy name we have learned that the whole Torah is one supernal Holy name and because of that it begins with the bet for it comprises the holy name namely the three bots within the secret written in the verses and when tanded came in stretched out Shemot 1419 to 21 the three columns of Zeir and it alludes to the three bonds which influence faith which is Malchut 8 come and behold all those who study the Torah and cleave to the Holy One blessed be he are adorned with the crowns of the Torah and are beloved above and below the Holy One blessed be he stretches out to them his right hand which is Jesus all the more so those who study the Torah at night also as we have learned that they are associated with the Shechina and are joined with her when morning comes the Holy One blessed be he winds a thread of grace around them to make them well known among the upper and the lower beings nine at the time that the congregation of Israel which is Malchut and those who study the Torah come to appear before the king Zeir and all the morning Stars break forth into song together as it is written when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of Elohim shouted for joy. Yo 387 what does shouted Hebir you mean the meaning is as it is written the earth is utterly broken down. Hebaroa 2419 there is a meaning of breaking for those judgments which are called the sons of Elohim are broken all of them are broken before morn when morning is roused in the world which is the illumination of Chesed of Zeir and Benazit. Is written and Abraham rose up early in the morning. Gershi 223 and Abraham is Chesed therefore all the sons of Elohim shouted for joy. Section 2 Zion and Jerusalem we learn that blessings come out to everyone from Zion and that Jerusalem is blessed for the sake of Zion. When Jerusalem is blessed all the people are blessed we are reminded that the rainbow alludes to judgment and that one should not judge others when one's children's children are God-fearing. Saintly and holy then there is peace upon Israel. Rabbi Lazar likens children's children to the Lord's Farah and says that the children, Chesed, Bura and Tiferet are only crowned and revived by Bina when the fathers Chakma and Bina are crowned and blessed by Keter. After this explanation the rabbis pray during which time a serpent winds itself around the mule of Rabbi Pinchas the serpent is then destroyed by the rabbis command. Ten Rabbi Lazar was traveling along a road where he met. Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yahir and his winning donkey Rabbi Pinchas said to him from a note of gladness in the donkey's voice I see that surely I shall meet someone here when he emerged from under the brow of the hill he saw Rabbi Lazar coming towards him and said assuredly the omen of the donkey's rejoicing has been fulfilled Rabbi Lazar then came up to him and kissed him he said to him if you would like to join me and go the same way let us go together and if not go your way he replied indeed I was going towards you and since I have found you I will follow you and we can go together 11 Rabbi Pinches opened the discussion with the verse Hashem shall bless you out of Zion and you shall see the good of Jerusalem Tehillim 1285 and he asks why out of Zion he answers because from Zion which is the Yezid of Malchut all blessings come out to all as it is written for there Hashem has commanded the blessings even eternal life Tehillim 1333 hence Hashem shall bless you out of Zion since from their blessings emanate to everything and you shall see the good of Jerusalem for the sake of Zion Jerusalem which is Malchut is blessed because Zion is the Yezid of Malchut and mercy rests there when Jerusalem is blessed all the people are blessed 12 all the days of your life if it means that the rainbow shall not be seen in your days any more than it was in the days of your father Rabbi Shimon ben in whose days no rainbow was seen for the rainbow alludes to Judgment of that it is written and you shall see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life meaning that all the days of your life you shall see the good of Malchut no judgments will appear in her and you shall see your children's children Tehillim 1286 who will be God fearing saintly and holy and then peace upon Yisrael peace upon Yisrael is like saying peace be upon the head of the king that he may lack nothing thus there is peace upon Yisrael namely upon the head of Zeir Anpin which is called Yisrael when he has the three first Tzvarot which are the secret of head for the name Yisrael has the letters of the words Lirash Lit I have a head as long as there are righteous in the world there is peace upon the head of Zeir Anpin 13 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children is their fathers Mishlei 176 we have already explained that the word children means Jesus Buran. Typhoret of Zeir Anpin which are children to Chakma and by the children's children are the others Firat of the king namely Netzachot and Yezid as it is written and all your children shall be taught of Hashem Yeshayah 5413 which alludes to Netzachot and Yezid it is also written the precious sons of Zion each of 42 that is Netzachot and Yezid of Zeir Anpin which
Donkey's legs and Rabbi Pincha said snake snake go and wind yourself round your own nest at this the snake detached himself from the animal's leg and fell into pieces section 3 how many messengers the holy one blessed be he as we learned that God uses even the beasts of the fields as his messengers to fulfill his mission he also sets the righteous to punish the wicked but no wicked person of Israel punishes another except by accident when God gives quietness to it. Man no one is authorized to injure or malign him when man's actions are virtuous God arranges for many protectors to guard him but when they are not virtuous then judgment is awakened upon them and those of the left become messengers to harm them Rabbi Lazar tells us that God is unwilling that sinners of Israel should punish other sinners of Israel because they do not come from the left side the children of Israel are to the right and the idolatrous nations are to the left 15 Rabbi. The laser said why is the Holy One blessed be he so particular with the righteous he replied verily he is and he takes note of all their errors for he desires to raise their holiness this donkey did not guard my holiness therefore it was her and the snake is a messenger how many messengers the Holy One blessed be he has and he sends all of them even the beast of the field to fulfill his mission as it is written I will also send wild beasts among you which shall rob you of your children. Bayi Cross 2619 and even the heathen nations Hashem shall bring a nation against you from far away from the very ends of the earth. The Barum 2849 16 Rabbi Lazar asked does the Holy One blessed be he make Israel his messengers too he replied yes he sets the righteous to punish the wicked but not one wicked person from Israel is said to punish another except for the time when one of them does so accidentally as it is written and if a man did not lie in wait then Elohim permitted it to. Happen Shema 2113 did not lie in wait is precise for he did not intend to kill him but Elohim permits it to happen in order to punish both of them both the killer and the one being killed 17 Rabbi Lazar said how does the Holy One blessed be he use such children of Israel and idolaters as his messengers he said to him has not your father told you he answered I have never asked him 18 he opened the discussion saying when he is quiet who then can condemn you 3429 when he is quiet means that when the Holy One blessed be he gives quietness to a man no one is authorized to injure or malign him and when he hides his face who then can behold him if it means that when he withdraws his watchful providence from him who can keep watch over him to protect him then those messengers come and injure him the ways of the Holy One blessed be he are unto a man or a nation alike meaning the same for the world as they are for a people or for an individual 19 he explains his Words come and behold when men's actions are virtuous below the right hand of the Holy One blessed be he is active for them above many loving ones many protectors of the world and protectors of men come forward on the right and left to guard him from the side of Chesed and from the side of Bure then the left side is subdued and cannot gain control but when men's actions are not virtuous below then the left side which is judgment is awakened upon them and those who come from the side of it left are all aroused and become messengers to harm men all who transgress the laws of the Torah receive a mark on their faces through which they are recognized by those who rise up from the side of the left twenty therefore the beasts and idolaters and all those who come from the left side are called messengers with regard to those who bear this mark on their faces and they rise up against them although the actions of Israel are not virtuous all of them come from the right side the right is subdued as a result of the evil actions of those who have the mark on their faces therefore the left has power over them and over all those who come from the left side therefore the mission is in the hands of the beasts and idolaters and all those who are like them being from the left side it is not in the hands of one of Israel for although a man may be wicked he still comes from the right side which is subdued by their own actions 21 a sinful Israel can fall into the hand of another sinner of Israel only at the time when the wicked person has no intention of killing him since then he does not come as a messenger but both of them must be punished and purified by their punishment Rabbi Lazar asked once do we learn all this he replied they are from the right and do not cleave to the left and are never mingled with it for both of them are the children of Israel therefore neither of them can be a messenger of the left to punish the other and thus at another time when they Wicked of Israel intend to kill they are removed from the world 22 Rabbi Lazar asked once do we learn that if the wicked of Israel intend to kill they pass away he answers come and behold think of the incident of the concubine in Gibeah although those who lived in Gibeah were sinners the holy one blessed be he was unwilling that other sinners of Israel should punish them therefore numbers of them fell time after time in the first battles until all the sinners who came to punish them perished and only those more righteous were left for they executed the work more appropriately even though they are righteous at a time when the worlds are considered to be one when the lower world conducts itself like the upper one permission is given only to some meaning those who come from the left who are the beasts and idolaters for when the lower world behaves as the upper one the branches of the right are not able to be the messengers of the left's actions namely to kill and to Punish for such missions above are never changed at the time of the battles of the concubine in Gibeah the worlds were not balanced, the one in the likeness of the other therefore the righteous could kill and punish although such a thing never happens above 23 therefore the sinners of Israel are not the messengers of the king to punish other sinners of Israel because they do not come from the left side as in the parable of certain men having offended the king an officer was charged to arrest and punish them one clever fellow among them went and mixed himself with the staff of an officer the officer detected him and said who said you could join us are you not one of those who have offended against the king you shall be punished first then they took him and killed him 24 so Israel come from the right side and never cleave to or mingle with the left when the wicked subdue the right by their sins and the left and all those who come from it are awakened to punish them then. If one of Israel from the right tries to situate himself among them they recognize him and say to him are you not one of those who come from the right side who is subdued because of the sins of the wicked are you not one of those who have sinned against the king who allowed you to come among us so he is punished first king Solomon cried to them there is a time when a man rules over another to his own hurt Kahilat 89 to his own hurt assuredly because he is not the messenger of the king and does not come from that side namely from the left 25 Rabbi Lazar said assuredly it is so we have learned that there is a right and there is a left which are mercy and judgment Israel are to the right and the idolaterous nations to the left although Israel sin and are subdued they belong to the right and neither cleave to the left nor ever mingle with it therefore it is written say with your right hand and answer me tell him 605 since when the right hand is exalted Israel that Cleave to it or exalted and crowned through it then the left side and all those who come from its side are subdued as is written your right hand Hashem has dashed the enemy in pieces Shemot 156 section 4 and it came to pass on the eighth day Rabbi Lazar tells of the supernal oil the abundance of Shachma in Bina that flows to the seven Sfirot and how those seven lamps the Sfirot are lit from it the discussion turns on the seven days in and you shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting for seven days and then on the eighth day of the sacrifice we are reminded that acts below are reflected above we learn why a ram and a calf were offered by Aaron and why the people had to bring a bullock and a ram on that day there was peace everywhere and the sin of the golden calf was wiped out but later Nadab and Abihu caused wrath to descend on the world again and we read of the many ways they spoiled the joy of Israel Rabbi Pinch stresses that. There must be a male and a female and that the priest must be married before he is allowed to enter the sanctuary when a man comes to his wife with love he awakens a supernal coupling as well Rabbi Yossi says that God has mercy on the world for the sake of Jacob and Abraham since he made them the holy chariot to shield the whole world when God created the world he created the world with Isaac or judgment but when he saw that judgment would not endure he made the world endure by Abraham she said. Then he joined Jacob mercy with Isaac and thus the whole world is supported by Abraham and Jacob there is a long discussion of the appropriate animal for the sin offering and the peace offering lastly we are told that the priest must have no blemish but must be perfect so that he does not cause a blemish above 26 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse and it came to pass on the eighth day the Icra 91 he asks why does the scripture mention the eighth day for it has a reference to the verse and you shall not go out from the door of the tent of meeting for seven days for seven days shall he consecrate you. Vayikra 833 he continues asking why is it written seven days and not in seven days. 27 happy are the priests who are crowned with the crowns of the holy king who is Zeir and his crowns are the lights of Bina and are
Vira Tifra Netz Ashot and Yizid of Zei are and depend upon Bana, and hence she is counted among them. Therefore, the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, is called Beth Shebalit, daughter of seven, for she is the consummation of six other Sfarad. If it is so, she should have been called daughter of six, but together with her own aspect, she is seven. In this case, also Bana includes all the other six, and she herself is considered as one day to be counted. Therefore, there are seven days. 2907, which are Bana with the six days included within, as it is mentioned above, were perfected and adorned and anointed by the priests in everything when they reached the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, being the eighth day, which comes after the seven days. Bana Chisit, Vira Tifra Netz Ashot and Yizid, Aaron was ordered to offer a calf, which is the son of a cow, which alludes to Malchut. This was to atone for the sin of that other calf whom Aaron created thereby. Sinning against the cow, which is Malchut and which is the eighth day of those seven days mentioned above, for she is called the peaceable and faithful in Israel, then the priest is considered complete in all in the eight different vestments of glory, complete in all the Sfirat above and below thirty on all occasions above, some kind of act must be manifested below, therefore a ceremony was performed with Aaron below, meaning that he did not leave the tabernacle for seven days and he offered the sacrifice on the eighth day by that act he elicited a reaction above, and in this way all becomes one and all the worlds are blessed through the priest by this act the priest was made complete with all perfection as he should be thirty one why a calf it is written take you a young calf for a sin offering Vayikra 92 meaning that he had to bring a sin offering on account of the sin of the calf he had previously committed and also a ram for a burnt offering he asks why did he offer a ram he Answers because of the ram of Isaac, namely the ram that Abraham offered instead of Isaac, for that was the secret of the sweetening of Isaac. It was a perfect burnt offering, and this ram also was brought to make the sacrifice complete, meaning to sweeten the left and complete. It this place, which is Malchut, draws from the side of Isaac, since Malchut is built from the left side, which is Isaac. Therefore, it should have been completed from that side. This ram was brought as a burnt offering due to Isaac's ram, for it ascends aloft to bind it to crown Malchut with perfection. A calf and a ram, the calf was for her to correct the defect Aaron had made in Malchut by making the golden calf and a ram to complete her properly with the perfection of Isaac. For Isaac himself is the secret of the left the ox, whose secret of perfection and sweetness is the ram. Thirty-two and Israel shared the sin of the priest, the sin of the golden calf, and had to bring a similar offering as it is written also. A Bullock and a ram for peace offerings to sacrifice before Hashem Vayikra 94 and ox is for their sin which they had by making the golden calf, meaning to correct that sin a ram is to complete this place which is malchut with the perfection of Isaac as explained above 33 he asks why is the term a young calf for sin offering used in connection with the priest while for Yisrael it does not say an ox for a sin offering he answers because Yisrael were already punished in many places, meaning in several ways by the sons of Levi and the watering therefore the Holy One blessed be he did not wish to mention their sin as before hence it is not written here sin offering but for a peace offering as a sign of peace and to show that the Holy One blessed be he has reconciled with the children of Israel in respect to this 34 Aaron however was not punished for the sin of the golden calf because of the prayer of Moses as is written and Hashem was very angry with Aaron to have Destroyed him to Barim 920 it is also written and I prayed for Aaron also at the same time but his guilt still hung over him so it is written a young calf for a sin offering it is assuredly a sin offering for he had to be atoned and purified to reach perfection completely 35 on that day the upper and lower beings reached their perfection and there was peace everywhere joy above and below if not for the event of the sons of Aaron on that day there would have been no such joy above and below from the day that Israel came up from the sea on that day the sin of the golden calf was wiped out from the world and the priests and the children of Israel were cleansed of it on that day all the accusers above departed they circled around Israel and found nothing they could accuse them for 36 this was until the hour arrived when Nadab and Abihu rose up and spoiled the general joy so that wrath descended on the world as it is written and the glory of Hashem appeared to all. The people Vayikra 923 then at once the sons of Aaron took each of them his censor Vayikra 1137 we have learned that on this day it was the joy of the congregation of Israel which is Malchut to be united by the bond of faith with all holy ties namely all the Sfirat of Zeir and for incense binds had Mikasharet all together as one therefore its name is Kirat and Nadab and Abihu came and linked all others from the other side together and left her Malchut outside for they did not link her with the Sfirat of Zeir and they linked up something else instead of Malchut therefore he warned the priests as it is written thus shall Aaron come into the holy place Vayikra 163 meaning that he should link Malchut which is called thus 38 in many ways they spoiled the joy of the congregation of Israel they did not marry a woman for they were not worthy of an offering and the worlds were not blessed by them also the time was not proper for offering the incense for it was not in the time of lighting the candles and they also hurried the time of inheriting the priesthood while their father was still alive even before they offered the incense they were doomed as is written and offered strange fire before Hashem Vayikra 101 another thing meaning the other side was linked up by that tie and they left the congregation of Israel which is Malchut outside 38 be Rabbi Pinchas said to him do not say that they made her dwell outside but that the congregation of Israel was not linked through them with Zeir and for the congregation of Israel does not rest at all upon a place where there are no male and female therefore he warned the priest as it is written thus shall Aaron come into the holy place meaning that there is a male and a female otherwise thus which is Malchut will not rest upon it therefore a priest must not enter the sanctuary until he is married in order that he may have a share in the union of the congregation of Israel for he who does not marry leaves the congregation of Israel outside and she does unite with him therefore they were in tumult on that day 39 and it came to pass on the eighth day Rabbi Yussi opened the discussion saying like the lily among thorns so is my love among the daughters sure Hasherim 22 like the lily among thorns is the congregation of Israel it was explained that the holy one blessed be he praises the congregation of Israel and his love is for her to cleave to her therefore he who marries a woman should praise the holy one blessed be he and the congregation of Israel for we have learned that one should fulfill any commandment with love while tonight as one who cleaves to his cows and devotes his affection to her when he comes to serve before the holy one blessed be he, he awakens another supernal coupling that of the holy one blessed be he for he desires to cleave to the congregation of Israel he blesses him for this and the congregation of Israel blesses him as we already have learned 40 therefore the praise with which the Holy One blessed be he praises the congregation of Israel which is Malchut is of the lily among thorns as it is the best of all and rises above also does the congregation of Israel rise among the other legions and is crowned over all that is the lily among thorns and the citron among thorns for a lily and a and a are the names of Malchut which is among the thorns to show the praise of the congregation of Israel. Above all 41 come and behold the congregation of Israel is blessed by the priest and Israel are blessed by the priest and the priest is blessed by the supernal priest who is Jesus of Zeir and as is written and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Ebed bar 627 42 it is written remember Hashem your tender mercies and your truth for they have been from of old. Tehillim 256 your tender mercies refers to Jacob and your truth to Abraham for they have from of old had me Olamlet from the world indicates that the Holy One blessed be he took them and raised them aloft and made of them the holy chariot to shield the world since they are from the world he remembers them and protects them and has mercy on the world so the Holy One blessed be he takes the righteous from the world and raises them aloft to protect the world 43 if you ask why there is no reference to Isaac I will answer that he was left to punish those who oppress his children as it is written stir up your might and come to save us Tehillim 803 it is also written Hashem shall go forth as a mighty man he shall stir up our doer like a man of war Yeshayah 4213 that is Isaac who is not mentioned here for Isaac is the aspect of Bura and his merit is kept to the day of vengeance Rabbi Shia said remember Hashem your tender mercies and your truth refers to Jacob and Abraham whom we need to shield us but Isaac's function is to make war which is the opposite
and Jacob and the Aaron as it is written from the world 45 Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with the verse and it came to pass on the eighth day Aaron was completed by those seven days which are by the Chesed Burin Tiferet Netzach and Yezid and was crowned with them and the eighth day which is Malchut was to be completed with the seven days of consecration by a priest therefore the service on the eighth day is in order to be crowned with the seven which are by the Chesed Burin Tiferet Netzach and Yezid by performing this task the priest would be cleansed of his previous sins namely the sin of the golden calf 46 it is written take you a young calf for a sin offering and we have already explained that a calf is offered to atone for that sin which they committed with the calf as is written and made it a molten calf Shema 324 why is it written young calf lid of the cattle and not kid the reason is that he should be corrected by the cow which alludes to Malchud which was spoiled by the sin of the golden calf he is not worthy to offer it up to her therefore it is not written kid lit of a cow for it is like a man who brings to a king a present that he first takes from the king's property the present should be obtained from another residence not the king's rabbi Yossi said giving him from his own such a one it is not worthy to offer therefore he sinned by making the golden calf and he offered a calf when he should have offered another kind of cow by this explanation rabbi Yosi questions rabbi Yehuda's words and the latter said therefore it is written a young calf of a cattle and not a kid of a cow 47 for a sin offering means to atone for the sin he had committed and a ram for a burnt offering had temimim plural he asks why is it written temimim when it should have been written in the singular form if you say it refers to a ram and a calf and therefore it is in the plural it is not so for both of them are not brought as burnt offerings as it is written burnt offerings without blemish and a calf is not offered as a burnt offering but rather a sin offering thus if so why is it written of the ram temim 48 he answers it is the ram of Isaac which needs to be brought to the cow that is twice mentioned in the scripture once is in the verse and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold behind him a ram Bereshit 2213 and the second is as written and Abraham went and took it ram there are two and of them it is written and offered him up for a burnt offering it therefore says and a ram for a burnt offering with two rams in plural form for they are two we therefore learned of the that a few of them are divided up to make several portions 49 and to the children of Israel you shall speak saying take a kid of the goats for a sin offering and a calf and a lamb 93 he asks why is not written a calf for a sin offering as it is said of the priest he answers that Israel were already punished therefore it is not written a calf for a sin offering but a calf for a burnt offering the reason that they had to have a calf for a burnt offering was that all those who had sinned by it the golden calf, by word deed or by worshipping the idol, were punished even those who although did not actually worship it but desired in their hearts to worship it were punished as well as it is written and made the children of Israel drink of it Shema. 3220, for all those who desired to worship the calf were punished through this all those who desired not to worship it even though with only a semblance of desire were purified by the burnt offering of a calf therefore they offered it as a burnt offering and not a sin offering for a burnt offering is sacrificed for desires of the heart 50 he asks why did they take a kid of the goats for a sin offering since they had not sin save in their hearts a burnt offering should have been. Sufficient he answers at first they offered the kids of the goats which live on high mountains therefore it is written a sin offering for they had to purify themselves from that sin by a sin offering furthermore they had to offer a sin offering for the renewal of the moon because it was the first day of Nisan and on the first day of every month a sin offering is offered 51 also a bullock and a ram for peace offerings it is written the bullock lit an ox have sure and not a bull. At par for an ox is complete and alludes to the face of an ox from the left which is from the aspect of Bura of Zeir and but a bull and a cow allude to a male and a female from the aspect of the left of Malchud which is not complete therefore the ox comes to show the peace in Malchud for the Bura of Malchud which is a bull and a cow is sweetened by the Bura of Zeir and which is an ox therefore it is written for a peace offering Rabbi Yossi said an ox and a ram come from the left. Side of Zeir and an ox from the left side for it is written the face of an ox on the left side Yashiskel 110 and also a ram for the ram of Isaac who is from the left and they are peace offerings to complete themselves for the congregation of Israel which is Malchut therefore a bullock and a ram for peace offerings they do not disagree but Rabbi Yosi gives more explanations 52 Rabbi Yehuda said everything is for the congregation of Israel which is Malchut for she is crowned and blessed by the priest through consecration on that day which is the eighth day everyone's joy was the congregation of Israel rejoicing in the Holy One blessed be he joy of the upper and the lower beings thus as the priest is completed below the priest is completed above so to speak who is Jesus of Zeir and Pensave Nadab and Abihu who aroused a disturbance between the queen and the king therefore a fire went out from Hashem and devoured them Vayikra 153 and Moses said to Aaron and Elazer and Edomar his sons let the hair of your heads not grow long Vayikra 106 for the anointing oil of Hashem is upon you Vayikra 107 Rabbi Abba said we have already learned that the actions made below arouse those above and the actions below should be as those above 54 come and behold all the joy above derives from the holy oil which is Chakma from which gladness and blessings issue to all the lamps and the supernal priest who is Jesus is crowned with the abundance of oil that is drawn from Chakma therefore the priest on whom the anointing oil has flowed must display a smiling and joyful countenance there must be no blemish on his head or his attire but he should be perfect in all as the model of the one above and he may not cause a blemish in another place above 55 come and behold if Elazer and Edomar allowed any blemish to appear on their attires or their heads they would not have been able to be delivered at the time that Nadab and Abba who perished for it was a Time of the execution of judgment therefore we have learned that when there is a plague in the world a man must not arouse anything in order not to make any sign so the litigants will be aroused against him unless he is aroused to do something good, and by doing that something to postpone the time of judgment when judgment is in the world whoever meets it is gathered and perishes therefore it is written lest you die by Akra 109 and but let your breath in the whole house of Israel be well. The burning which Hashem has kindled to bit 6 they did not come from the side of the priests and therefore would not be injured so they can be well the burning but not the priest on whom the judgment then ruled section 5 and Aaron took him Elisheba Rabbi Lazar says that Elisheba was destined for Aaron and Bathsheba was destined for David from the time the world was created Bathsheba is from the aspect of judgment and Elisheba is from the aspect of mercy Rabbi. Shimon speaks about the inner meaning of the sound of the shofar that is to do with the bringing together of the thought the unity of Chakma with Bina. He speaks about the two voices of the lock and the key and seven sounds corresponding to seven Sfirah. He tells us that the priest must be smiling and joyful so that blessings may be spread over the whole world. 56 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse and Aaron took him Elisheba daughter of Ammonadab sister of Nachshon to wife. Shemot 623 and Aaron took properly as the supernal model come and behold Elisheba who is Malchut was destined for Aaron from the day of the creation of the world and Bathsheba who is Malchut was destined for David from the time of the creation of the world. 57 he asks since both of them are Malchut what is the difference between them between Bathsheba and Elisheba he answers all is one and both are Malchut but one name refers to judgment the other to mercy when she was joined with David. It was for the aspect of judgment to wage war and shed blood while here with Aaron it was for peace joy gladness and to be blessed by him therefore she is called Bathsheba there and Elisheba here because Elisheba was joined with mercy for she contains the letters Elisheba and El is mercy Bathsheba was sent before judgment in order to be a worthy heir of the royal family and to gain strength 58 Rabbi Shimon said what we have learned of the sound of the shofar Shemot 1916 is well and that is Jacob who occurred in thought which is Chakma with the fathers namely included with Chesed Bura and Tiferet they all came out of the shofar which is the secret of Bina called the supernal IMA as the shofar when blown draws out water air and fire and all together they create a sound so does the supernal IMA which is called shofar draw out the fathers who are Chesed Bura and Tiferet in one sound which is the central column Tiferet from the plane of thought they arose in one. Sound that was called the sound of the shofar who is
perfect union, so that blessings may be spread all over the world diffused through air and therefore the priest must ever be smiling and joyful as the supernal model above for blessings and joy come through him therefore punishment wrath and gloom are removed from him so that he may not be disqualified from the place to which he is linked namely Malchut therefore let your brethren the whole house of Israel bewail the burning but not the priest it is also written bless Hashem his substance. And accept the work of his hands. Devarim 3311 section 6. Do not drink wine or strong drink. Rabbi Yehuda begins by saying that Nadab and Abihu were under the influence of wine when the priests were warned not to drink. Rabbi Shia wonders why priests are forbidden wine when it creates such joy. Rabbi Shimon says that wine makes one joyful at first but sad afterwards and the priest must always be glad. A discussion ensues of wine, oil and water and we hear that oil is always noiseless and comes from the side of thought that is always silent and unheard. The priest must do everything in silence. Rabbi Yitzhak mentions that whoever partakes of the wine of the Torah will come to life at the time of the resurrection of the dead. However, a young boy on a mule says that the chants of Torah are to be said in a raised voice and not in a whisper. The best wine is the wine that is preserved the secret of the illumination of Chakma in Bina and by the joy of that wine. The left is included within the right, so everyone is awakened with joy and blessing. 61. Do not drink wine or strong drink, neither you nor your sons with you. Vayikra 108. Rabbi Yehuda said that from this chapter we learned that Nadab and Abihu were under the influence of wine from the fact that the priests were warned about it. Rabbi Shia cites that verse and wine that makes glad the heart of man. Tehillim 10,415. He asks if the priest is required to be glad and smiling more than any other man. Why is he forbidden wine which creates joy and smile? 62. He answers wine makes one joyful at first and saddens later, and the priest must be glad all the time, all the more with the wine that comes from the side of the levites from the place in which wine abides, namely from the left. For the Torah and her wine are of the side of Bura and the side of the priest is that of clear shining water, which is Jesus. 63. Rabbi Yehuda said each lends to the other and each includes both things. For the left includes that of the right and the right includes that of the left therefore wine being from the left begins with joy for it contains water which comes from the right afterwards it reverts to its own nature to the left and becomes sad and furious and sentences judgments as is the nature of the left 64 Rabbi Abba said that wine oil and water issue from the same place water and oil which are on the right are taken by and are the lot of the priests this is especially so with oil. Namely Chakma which is joy first and last unlike the wine which ends in sadness as it is written it is like the precious ointment upon the head running down the beard the beard of Aaron Tehillim 1332 wine which is on the left is inherited by the left so that they may raise their voices in song and not be silent for wine is never silent and oil is always noiseless 65 he asks what is the difference between oil and wine he answers that oil is always in secret and noiseless and comes. From the side of the thought which is chakma which is always silent and unheard as the thought is unrevealed therefore the oil comes from the right side wine is for raising the voice and is never silent for the one who is drunk cannot be silent it comes from the side of Ima namely the left side of Bina and the Levites who are on the left receive IT for singing and raising their voices and are in the aspect of judgment therefore it is written and by their word shall every controversy end. Every stroke be tried Devarim 215 and although it is stated about the priest it is written the priests the sons of Levi which indicates that because they are from the side of the Levites by their word shall every controversy and every stroke be tried 66 therefore when a priest enters the sanctuary to perform a divine service he is not allowed to drink wine for all his actions are performed in silence he concentrates on the unisons in silence joins whom he should join namely male and female and he obtains blessings for all the worlds and everything is done in silence for all his actions are done in secret therefore he is forbidden to drink wine because it reveals a secret for when wine comes in a secret goes out and it encourages the raising of the voice 67 Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yitzhak were on their way from the place of Moroni Ejik with them was a young boy who had a mule on whose back was a jar of wine mixed with honey Rabbi Yehuda said let us discuss the Torah as we go 68 Rabbi Yitzhak opened the discussion saying and the roof of your mouth like the best wine that goes down sweetly for my beloved Sher Hashirim 711 and the roof of your mouth like the best wine is the wine of the Torah which is good for the other wine that of the other side is not good the wine of the Torah is good for all good for this world and good for the world to come as it is the wine that pleases the Holy One blessed be he more than all due to this he who Imbibes of the wine of the Torah will come to life at the time of the resurrection of the dead when the Holy One blessed be he shall raise the righteous Rabbi Yehuda said causing the sleeper's lips to murmur before even in that world he will have earned the right to speak of the Torah therefore it is written causing the sleeper's lips to murmur 69 the boy remarked if it had been written your palate is from the best wine we would have said that it means from the wine of the Torah. But it is written like the best wine instead of from they looked at him and Rabbi Yehuda said speak on for your remark is a good one 70 he said I have heard that he who studies the Torah and is attached to her his remarks are said not in a whispering voice but with a raised voice as they should be heard for it is written she cries in the chief place of concourse Mishlei 121 meaning that the chants of Torah are to be said in a raised voice and not in a whisper then he is like the Best wine, namely, is the best wine which is also not silent, and he causes the voice to be raised when he departs from the world that goes down sweetly for my beloved, namely, then he should not turn either to the right or to the left, so that none will interfere with him, causing the sleeper's lips to murmur. Thus, even in that world, his lips mutter words of the Torah. 71 I have further heard that the verse, the roof of your mouth, like the best wine, refers to the congregation of Israel, which is Malchut, and it is said to praise her. If so, who it is that praises her? Thus, if the Holy One blessed be, he praises her. It should have been written for me and not for my beloved. 72 Assuredly, the Holy One blessed be, he is the one who praises the congregation of Israel as she praises him, for it is written, his mouth is most sweet. Sure, Hashirim 516 Thus, the Holy One blessed be, he praises the congregation of Israel as is written, and the roof of your mouth, like the best wine. They Best wine is the wine which is preserved the secret of the illumination of the Chakma in Bina that goes down sweetly for my beloved which is Isaac who is the left column of Zeir and, and has been called beloved since he was created that goes down sweetly had Miserim is as it is written you have established equity had Miserim Tehillim 994 being Chesed and Bura to include the left which is Bura with the right which is Chesed and that is equity hence by the joy of that. Best wine the left is included within the right and all are awakened with joy and blessings and all the worlds rejoice and arouse themselves to pour down blessings below 73 Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yitzhak approached the boy and joyfully kissed him on his head they asked him what is your name he replied Yesa they said you shall be as great a man as Rabbi Yesa and you will live longer than our colleague Rabbi Yesa who has departed from us they asked who is your father he replied he has. Passed away from the world he used to teach me three passages of the Torah every day and three words of wisdom from the Agata at night what I have just told I have learned from my father now I live with a person who will not let me study the Torah and every day I go to work and every day I repeat all that I have learned from my father 74 they said to him does that man know anything of the Torah he replied no he is an old man and does not know how to grace the Holy One blessed be he and he has sons whom he does not send to school Rabbi Yehuda said if that were not so I would enter that village to talk to that man with whom you live and tell him good things about you but after what you tell us we should not look at him leave your mule and come with us they then asked him who was your father he replied Rabbi Zira of Ramin village 75 when Rabbi Yehuda heard his reply he wept and said I was once in his house and learned from him three things concerning the cup of benediction. And two things relating to the work of creation Rabbi Yitzhak said if we can learn from his son how much more could we have learned from himself they went along holding his hand until they came to a field where they sat down they said to him tell us something that your father taught you concerning the work of creation section 7 and Elohim created the great crocodiles the boy Yitzhak speaks about by the source from which the soul of the first man was created and from which all waters flow to provide sustenance for all we read other interpretations of the living creature that moves and find that the birds that are the secret of angels
brought forth abundantly of it is the Shesedim of that supernal river which is Bina which issues from Eden which is Chakma and waters that tree which is Zeir and so that it may spread its roots over all and provide food for all 78. There is another interpretation of the verse, the living creature that moves it refers to King David, namely to Malchut, for it is written of him, I shall not die but live. Tehillim 11817 and every winged bird after its kind, Beersheet 121, these are all. Those holy angels whose function it is to sanctify the name of their master every day it is written each one has six wings with which to fly over the world to perform their master's will his errands each one as his worthy rabbi Yehuda said assuredly this is too much for a boy to know but I foresee that he will be raised to eminency 79 rabbi Yitzhak said assuredly the living creature that moves is the supernal creature which is above all which is bina for the other one which is malchut is called earth in the scripture as it is written and let birds multiply in the earth if it surely it is in the earth which is malchut and not in the water which are the shesedim of the bina for that river which is bina issues and comes out in waters without being divided up to that place called earth which is malchut from there down it is written and from hence it was parted bear she 210 for there are the divided worlds the birds which are the secret of angels that are from it world of separation depend upon that earth which is Malchut and are watered by it as it is written let the birds multiply in the earth then they rose and went on their way and Rabbi Yehuda said let us take this boy into our company and let each of us say words of the Torah section 8 stout trunks and apple trees Rabbi Yehuda tells how the congregation of Israel needs support in her exile and the true support is from the grade of the righteous 80 Rabbi Yehuda open the discussion saying let me lean against the stout trunks let me couch among the apple trees sure hashering 25 we have already learned this verse and it is a pleasing one the congregation of Israel speaks thus in the exile what does let me lean mean he answers the one who falls must be supported as it is written hashem upholds all that fall Tehillim 14513 therefore the congregation of Israel which is Malchut has fallen as written is fallen she shall no more rise Amos 52 she should be supported therefore she said let me lean to Israel her children who are in exile with her 81 with what shall they support her the fallen Malchut with the stout trunks which are the fathers who are the first to be replenished with that good preserved wine which is the illumination of the Chakma from the left column of the Bina first received by Chesed Bira and Tiferet which are called fathers after receiving the preserved wine they are called the stout trunks when they become filled up all the blessings arrive to Malchut by a certain grade which is the righteous namely the Yizid which receives from the fathers and passes to Malchut and whoever knows how to unite the holy name which is Malchut with Zeir and so that she will receive from those stout trunks even when there are no blessings in the world when she is still in exile Yizid supports and sustains the congregation of Israel in exile therefore she said let me lean against the stout trunks 82 Let me couch among the apple trees. All is one for stout trunks and apple trees are both from the aspect of the fathers as we have said they transfer to Yezid and Yezid to Malchut but the difference between them is the secret the one brings in the stout trunk and brings out apple trees by directing the intention of the desire it therefore speaks of stout trunks and apple trees stout trunks for thirst quenching wine and apple trees to direct the will so that the wine will not do any harm why is all this for I am sick with love sure hashirim 25 in exile he who unifies the holy name also unifies judgment with mercy he combines them together to be mitigated and corrects everything properly that is what supports the congregation of Israel in exile section 9 the preserved wine we learn from Rabbi Yitzhak that the wine of below depends on the wine above the world to combine is the source of all the living beings above and below and the place where the preserved wine rests any wine that is made by or touched by an idolater is defiled and therefore forbidden Israel drink the wine that has been made in holiness therefore one pronounces the blessing over wine below to correspond with the wine above 83 Rabbi Yitzhak said those that did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their offering to 3238 happy are Israel who are holy as the holy one blessed be he desires to sanctify them come and behold all the life of the world that the holy children of Israel inherit is derived from the world to come which is bina for it is the source of all the living beings above and below and the place where the preserved wine rests namely the left column of bina from which life and holiness issues out to all the wine of Israel below is holy on account of the wine of another Israel above which is Zeir and, and which receives the preserved wine from bina as mentioned above one depends on the other for the wine below depends on the wine above for the supernal Israel which is Zeir and derives life from the wine, namely the illumination of Chakma called living creature therefore it is called the tree of life namely a tree taken from a place called life from which life comes forth therefore they bless the holy one blessed be he with wine for the wine of Israel below is as the wine above 84 an idolater is defiled and whoever approaches him will be defiled therefore if he approaches and touches the wine of Israel the wine is defiled and is forbidden for drinking all the more forbidden is the wine which is made by an idolater for it is defiled as their wine is from the aspect of the other side they draw the intoxicating wine the secret of the illumination of the Chakma from the left from above downward which is a great impurity which feeds the clipot considered the detritus of gold this is unlike the preserved wine which is the wine of the supernal Israel. Zeir Anpin which is drawn from below upward do not say then that this alone, meaning the wine of Israel below, I ask the same model as above for everything that Israel do below is the same as the supernal model the wine that is in a supernal place is all the more like the preserved wine 85 therefore Israel drink the wine of Israel that has been made in holiness as Israel above Zeir Anpin, who drinks the wine and spreads roots and is blessed by that holy supernal wine which is derived from the bina from below upward they do not drink wine which has been made with impurity from the side of impurity for the spirit of impurity rests upon it and whoever drinks it defiles his spirit he is defiled and he is not of the side of Israel and has no share in the world to come for in the world to come which is bina lies the preserved wine which is derived from below upward as was mentioned 86 therefore the holy Israel must guard this more than anything else since it is attached to the place of the world to come as mentioned above therefore the holy one blessed be he is blessed with wine more than with anything else for it gladdens the left side of Zeir Anpin which obtains from the force of the preserved wine of Bina and that rejoicing it merges itself in the right side of Zeir Anpin and the Shesedim of the right are merged with the illumination of the Chakma in the left thus when the whole becomes right in Zeir Anpin in which the right prevails the holy name who is Malchut is in bliss and blessings are all over the worlds by that act of drinking the wine below a reaction is elicited above for the illumination of Chakma the secret of the preserved wine is drawn down from Bina to the left column of Zeir Anpin this is the secret of the verse drink people loving friends sure hashering 42 therefore one pronounces the blessing upon wine below to correspond with the wine above 87 therefore because the wine is preserved above in Bina it should be Kept from the touch of a stranger below and by keeping it so Israel become holy he from the side of impurity who defiles it below will be defiled in this world and he will have no share in the world to come which is by the place where the preserved wine rests since he does not care for the wine below he is not cared for in the world to come he defiles the wine therefore he will be defiled in that world and will have no share in the wine of the world to come happy are Israel who sanctify themselves with the supernal holiness keep whatever should be kept and sanctify the king with the supernal keeping happy are they in this world and in the world to come section 10 but he who exacts gifts overthrows it the youth tells how God established the world by justice through Jacob but it was overthrown by Esau who did not tithe and was a man who exacted graft all his life long David tried to combine Malchut with Zerampin and Solomon came and united them and at that time the moon appeared in all its fullness then the world was overturned by one who exacted graft Zedekiah 88 the boy opened the discussion with the verse the king by justice establishes the land but he who exacts gifts overthrows it Mishlei 294 who is the king this is the holy one blessed be he and by justice is Jacob who is the epitome of the fathers namely the central column which includes Jesus and Gvira the secret of Abraham and Isaac for by the central column he establishes and preserves the land which is Malchut but one who exacts gift gift is spelled without the letter of indication for plural which is the secret of the central column called justice and gift is Malchut as is written and
Therefore he overturns it as is written but sometimes ruin comes for want of judgment let justice Mishlei 1323 being judgment without mercy therefore one who exacts gift overturns it 89 you may say that David was a man who exacts a gift for King David was a chariot to Malchut from the aspect of her left he answers it was with mercy not only for Malchut from the aspect of the left like he saw but also the left of Malchut combined with mercy moreover it is written the sure loving. Promises have Shesedim of David Yeshayah 553 thus as he cleaved to that to Malchut of the left he also cleaved to them Shesedim 90 come and behold all his life King David made an effort so that this gift which is Malchut would be combined with just the CEIR and namely the central column so that both of them would be united together then came Solomon who united them then the moon which is Malchut appeared in its fullness and the earth which is Malchut was maintained and came Zedekiah and separated them and the earth which is Malchut was left without justice Zeir Anpin and the moon was spoiled and the earth was ruined and it was said one who exacts gift overturns it which is Zedekiah section 11 oil and wine we learn that oil is for the priests and wine is for the levites because it issues from the preserved wine it comes to them in order to unite the world so that left and right will be completely joined one within the other whoever desires to cleave to this unity is complete in this world and in the world to come and he is joined to repentance the place where wine and oil both are then he does not attach himself to riches and the desires of this world instead he has a portion in the world to come 91 come and behold oil the secret of the right is for the priests and wine the secret of the left is for the levites this is not because they must drink wine but because it comes and issues from the preserved wine which is the Abundance of Chakma of the left column of Bayit comes to them as is mentioned above in order to unite the worlds and cheer them also that right and left will be completely incorporated the one within the other and all friendship and the love of the faithful will be with them for when right and left are incorporated the one within the other all the grades become complete 92 whoever desires to cleave to it, to the unity of the right with the left, is complete in this world and in the world to come all his life he cleaves to repentance which is by the place where wine and oil are for they are the unity of right and left and he will not cleave to the riches and the desires of this world King Solomon cried and said he that loves wine and oil shall not be rich Mishlei 2117 in this world for other riches await him riches in which he will have a share he will have a portion in the world to come for that is the place where wine and oil rest in this world and in the world. To come and he who loves this place needs not riches and does not strive for them happy are the righteous who strive all day long to attain supernal riches as it is written gold and glass cannot equal it and the exchange of it shall not be for vessels of fine gold. Eo 2817 that is in this world and in the world to come that I may cause those who leave me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasuries. Mishlei 821 section 12 the written law and the oral law. We learn that the Torah is the written laws here and the commandments are the oral Torah Malchut the parent of both is the preserved wine by the youth tells us about the supernal book Chakma that disappeared and that inspired the written law the oral Torah is kept by the mouth that is knowledge or and Moses was elevated above all other prophets because he is the chariot of that from which issues the oral Torah the youth says that when the wicked are removed from the world. God's throne is established in righteousness and not in judgment. 93 He continued his discourse and cited and Hashem said to Moses come up to me to the mountain and wait there and I will give you the tablets of stone and the Torah and the commandments which I have written that you may teach them. Shema 2412 and the Torah is the written law which is Zeir and while and the commandments is the oral Torah which is Malchut you may teach them have letter is written without the letter. Vav as it is written in the verse and into the chamber of her who conceived me have very high sure Hashirim 34 we should observe to whom it refers when it says teach them also their parents of you may think that it refers to Israel who are male and female for the children of Israel are their children as it is written you are the children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 141 yet this is not so for Israel are not mentioned in this verse and so it is not said of them teach them the parent of the Torah and the commandments is the preserved wine which is binded the mother of male and female which are called the Torah and the commandments all the writings of the supernal book which is Chakma called supernal book rests there in the binder for the supernal book Chakma is concealed and its first revelation which is considered written is in binder from which the written law which is Zeir Anpin issues therefore we call Zeir Anpin the written law for it was inspired by the writing which is binder that is the meaning of which I have written that you may teach them more for their parents it is indeed their parents namely Chakma and binder the secret of the book and of writing which are the parents of Zeir Anpin 94 the oral Torah which is Malchut is another Torah which is kept and maintained orally lit by mouth who is the mouth it is that knowledge namely Zeir Anpin which reconciles Chakma and binder the mouth of the book and the writing which are Chakma and Bina for dad ISEIR and it reconciles and reveals Chakma and Bina the secret of the book and of writing as the mouth of a man reveals what is hidden in his mind. This Torah is different from the written Torah and it is called the oral Torah which is kept and maintained by the mouth of that Torah which is called the written Torah which is Zeir and Malchut is maintained by Zeir and as is known therefore it is called the oral Torah therefore Moses was elevated above all other faithful prophets as it is written and I will give you especially to him excluding the other prophets for Moses is the chariot of the dad from which issues the oral Torah section 13 his throne shall be established in righteousness Rabbi Shimon says that the title verse means the lower world depends on the upper world and the upper world sends flow to the lower world depending on the ways of the lower world he adds that when the priest enters the temple he should enter with mercy that is water and not with the wine he drank. Lastly we read that Aaron's function was to separate the unclean beasts from the clean ones. 95 it is written take away dross from the silver and a vessel emerges for the refiner. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Mishlei 254 come and behold when the wicked become numerous in the world the throne of the holy king which is Malchut is established in judgment and is drawn by judgment its flames burn the world but when the wicked are removed from the world then his throne shall be established in righteousness. Let Jesus and not in judgment he asks what does this mean in righteousness and not in judgment. 96 he answers the meaning is that the lower world which is Malchut depends on the upper world which is the Zeir and the supernal world transfers to the lower world according to the ways of the lower world therefore his throne shall be. Established in righteousness have Chesed Mishlei 254 for he who desires to bless it and to establish his throne which is the lower world shall establish it with Chesed and not with judgment he asks again what is the meaning of establishing it in Chesed he answers when the priest enters into the temple which is Malchut he should enter with mercy which is water and not with the wine he drank for that is pure he is to enter with water and not to enter with wine 97 then Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yitzhak came and kissed the boy on his head from that day on he never left Rabbi Yehuda and when he entered the house of study Rabbi Yehuda would rise before him saying I have learned something from him and it is fitting that I should show him respect afterwards he became one of the friends and they used to call him Rabbi Yesa the hammerhead that breaks rocks and makes sparks fly in all directions Rabbi Laser would apply to him the verse before I formed you in the belly I knew you. Your Mayah 14 section 14 these are the animals Rabbi Abba tells us that the tree of life is a tree that issues from this life Rabbi Shimon explains how men should guard their mouths and tongues from impure food and drink and from words of evil certain animals are prescribed for eating to keep Israel's body and soul from impurity when men do not keep themselves from unclean food and drink they become attached to an unclean place and become defiled by it we learn that there are ten sfirot of faith above and ten sfirot of unclean sorcery below and that everything on earth is attached to one side or the other scripture permits us those animals that come from the side of the ten holy sfirot all cattle beasts birds and fish are marked with the signs of either right or left Rabbi Shimon talks about how God is glorified by the children of Israel and says that anyone who is made in the image of God should not depart from his ways 98 and Hashem spoke to Moses and Aaron saying to them, These are the animals that you shall eat. Vayakra 12. He asks why the change so that Aaron I has mentioned here together with Moses. He answers it is because his function is to separate the unclean from the clean, as it is written to make a distinction between the unclean and the clean. Vay
Loves many days that he may see good. He asks what does days signify here. He answers that it signifies the name of the holy king, namely Malchut, called name when she is attached to the supernal days which are Shisat, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hot, and Yizit of Zeir and receives them of them. It is said, Loves many days for they are called the days of heaven over earth. Assuredly, the days of heaven which are Shisat, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hot, and Yizit of Zeir and called heaven and over earth as they are received by Malchut, which is called earth. He who desires to have a portion in the higher life above, which is the light of Binah, then wills influence with the tree of life Zeir and and he who desires to have a portion in the supernal days, which are Shisat, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hot, and Yizit of Zeir and which will influence with Malchut, should cleave to them and love them. He should guard his mouth and tongue from all things from any kind of food or drink. That defiles the soul and takes a man far from the life of Binah of Zeir and that is called tongue and from those days of Zeir and of Malchut which is called mouth he should also keep his tongue from words of evil so as not to be defiled by them and he should draw himself away from them so as not to have part in them one hundred and one come and behold mouth and tongue are the names given to a supernal place for Malchut is called mouth and Zeir and is called tongue therefore a man should not bring a stain on his mouth and tongue because by so doing he brings stains on the supernal mouth and tongue and on his whole body and soul for he is defiled in the other world above as we have already explained one hundred and two these are the animals from among all the beasts that are on earth that you shall eat Vayikra one hundred and twelve he asks in this verse the end does not suit the beginning nor the beginning the end why does it say first animals and then living creatures he answers that the holy one Blessed be he said, as long as Israel keep their body and soul from impurity, these are the animals that you shall eat, namely they will be in supernal holiness and will cleave to my name which is Malchut and is called Zot lit these an animal by choosing the beast that you shall eat chosen by me you will not be defiled by it and you will cleave to my name which is Malchut the meaning of the verse these are the animals lit in the singular is that you will cleave to Malchut called. This is the animal that you shall eat from among all the living creatures when you eat a pure beast which I have chosen for you one hundred and three when they do not keep themselves from unclean food and drink they shall cleave to another unclean place and be defiled by it therefore it is written these are the animals from among lit from all that you shall eat assuredly from all for this is the secret of cleaving to the holy name for all alludes to the Yizid, which is called all the secret of Cleaving to his name we is derived the secret of the verse for all that is in heaven and on earth. I did Rahim 2911 the Yazid unites Zeir and Malchud which are called heaven and earth from among all the beasts that are on earth meaning that the eating of the animal should be clean and not defile you and then you will have a share in my name which is called all and you will cleave to it 104 there is further explanation of the words these Hebzot are the animals that you shall eat it is written of Pharaoh in this Hebzot you shall know that I am Hashem Shemot 717 meaning that Zot which is Malchud is to take revenge on you here also these Hebzot are the animals which you shall eat among the living creatures means that Zot is before you to take revenge on you if you defile your nefesh the reason is that Malchud especially shall punish them for the nefesh of men issues from her the nefesh issues from Malchud and the Ruash from the Zeir and Benazis. Known if you defile your nefesh which belongs to Malchut, then Zot Malchut shall be against you if she stands to do good you will cleave to her and you will have all the goodness, but if she stands against you you will be punished by her. 105 Rabbi Lazar said these are the animals from among all the living creatures that you shall eat means that you are allowed to eat from all of those that belong to the side of purity but you are not allowed to eat those which do not belong to the side. There are beasts which come from the side of purity and others from the other unclean side this is derived from the verse whatever cleaves the hoof and is cloven footed Vayikra 113 we have learned that they are all marked and the scripture specifies them all therefore he who eats from those which come from the unclean side defiles himself and defile his soul which issues from the clean side 106 Rabbi Shimon said that this includes everything for as there are tense of faith above so. Are there ten Sfirot of unclean sorcery below all things on earth are attached either to one side or to the other and the scripture permits us those animals which come from the side of the ten holy Sfirot and forbids us all those animals which come from the side of the ten unclean Sfirot 107 you may ask about the goat in which an unclean spirit dwells saying it is permitted to be eaten but the answer is that this is not so for if an unclean spirit dwelt in it we would not have been permitted to eat it. unclean spirits pass through animals and appear to harm them but such spirits do not dwell in them for when they come to dwell in them another spirit from the side of purity passes by and the defiled spirits depart from the animals they only manifest inside them in order to prosecute men from within them but they do not take possession of them therefore such an animal is allowed to us as food 108 come and behold when the unclean spirits come to take possession of them Another spirit from the side of cleanness passes the unclean spirits raise their eyes to see that the other spirits identifying marks are from the side of purity and then they depart from the animals, yet they are still in front of them therefore they are not forbidden to us for food 109 in cattle living creatures birds and fish are seen signs of right or left we may eat whichever comes from the right but we may not eat whichever comes from the left because all of them are in the grave of uncleanness and all of them are unclean and unclean spirit dwells in them therefore the holy spirit of Israel must neither be mixed up with them nor be defiled by them in order that Israel may remain holy and be recognized as such above and below happy is the portion of Israel in that the holy one blessed be he desires to purify them and sanctify them above all others for they cling to him 110 come and behold it is written Israel in whom I will be glorified Yeshua 493 of the holy one blessed be he is glorified by Israel how can they defile themselves and cling to the side of uncleanness therefore it is written you shall therefore sanctify yourselves and you shall be holy for I am holy Vayikra 1144 and you shall not make your souls abominable Vayikra 2025 he who is made in the image of the king should not depart from his ways therefore the holy one blessed be he marks all those which come from the side and those which come from the other side happy is the portion of Israel of whom it is written all that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which Hashem has blessed Yeshua 619 indeed Hashem has blessed he has blessed in every respect section 15 neither shall you make yourselves unclean with them we are told that whoever eats unclean foods defile his body and soul and will never be able to recover from this defilement he will never cling to the bundle of life Rabbi Shimon tells Rabbi Lazer that Someday God will purify the children of Israel with the water of Shesed and that those who cling to God are called holy 111 come and behold whoever eats of these unclean foods cleaves to the other side and defile his body and soul the unclean spirit rests upon him and he shows that he has no portion in the highest one nor does he come from his side nor does he cleave to him if he departs from this world in such a state he will be seized by all those who are grasped by the unclean side and he will be defiled by them moreover he is judged as a man spurned by his master spurned in this world and in the world to come 112 of that it is written neither shall you make yourselves have been made of unclean with them Vayikra 1143 without the Allah to show that there is no remedy for his uncleanness and that he can never recover from his defilement woe to them woe to their souls who will never cling to the bundle of life for they are defiled woe to their bodies of which it is written for their putrefaction shall never cease and they shall be an abhorrence to all humankind. Yeshua 6624 What does abhorrence mean? It means stench the stench that was caused by the other side to which they clung. 113 Israel who come from the right side spoil the side the right if they cling to the left side and defile their bodies and souls they are spoiled in this world and in the world to come especially he who clings to the side of uncleanness which derives from the left and is completely defiled for the side of uncleanness and the left side are combined with one another meaning that the left side above from which impurity issues is separated from the right from their defilement is drawn and it is written for you are a holy people to Hashem your Elohim Devarim 142 114 Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion with the verse all the labor of man is for his mouth. Kahilat 67 I have observed that those words of King Solomon are full of supernal wisdom and the words of Labor of man is for his mouth allude to the time when man is sentenced for all the accusations
Moreover, he is all the more defiled in this world and in the world to come. Therefore, neither shall you make yourselves unclean by them. And the word Venet made unclean is written without the letter Allah 116. It is written, and you shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by bird or by any manner of living thing that creeps on the ground which I have separated from you as unclean. Vayikra 2025. What does he mean by unclean? It means to defile by them the heathen nations for. They are unclean and come from the side of uncleanness. Each cleaves to his own place. Israel with those from the side of holiness and the heathen nations with those from the side of uncleanness. 117. Rabbi Lazar was once sitting before his father Rabbi Shimon and he said to him, We have learned that the Holy One blessed be he will one day purify Israel with what will he purify them? He replied with that which is written in the verse, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be. Clean Yashiskal 3625, which is the secret of the water of Shisa that includes the illumination of the left from which purification issues. Since they are purified, they are also sanctified for they cleave to the holiness of Zeir and in which are the Mokin of Abba and Ima who are called holy Israel who cleave to the Holy One. Blessed be here called holy as is written, Israel is holy to Hashem the first fruit of his increase. Yermea 233, and also, and you shall be holy men to me, Shema. 2230, happy are Israel of whom the Holy One blessed be, he says, and you shall be holy for I am holy. Vayakra 1144, for it is written, and hold fast to him, Devarim 135, and also he has not dealt so with any other nation, and as for his ordinances, they have not known them. Halil Yah, 14720, section 16, fish and grass hoppers do not need to be slaughtered. Here we read that fish and grass hoppers are permitted to be eaten just by being gathered. Slaughtering is not necessary. This is like the heads of the Yeshivas who do not need to be slaughtered when they die like other men. Instead, they are gathered without being slaughtered, just as the fish live in the sea. Those who study the Torah live in the Torah, and if they leave it, they die instantly. He who learns Kabbalah is above all others and will have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air. Rabbi Shimon likens those who learn Mishnah to the crocodile, saying that when they have a dispute. One swallows the other if they are at the same level of teacher, however, they all have love at the end. Rai Mahim to the faithful shepherd 118 fish and grass hoppers do not need to be slaughtered for merely being gathered in permits them to be eaten. It is the same way with the heads of the Talmudic colleges who do not need to be slaughtered when they die like other men, who are slaughtered by the sword of the angel of death. It is said of them and expired and was gathered to his people. Bear she 4933 for they are gathered without being slaughtered, which disfigures the deceased as a fish live in the sea. So the students who study the Torah and the Mishnah live in the Torah, and if they leave it, they die instantly. The ten name of the Mishnah are raised by the Torah like the fish in the sea, and if those who dwell on land enter the sea without knowing how to swim, they die, but he who learns the Kabbalah is above all others as it is written, have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the birds of the air, Beersheet 128, which are the students of Mishnah 119, for those who learn Mishnah are crocodiles, namely the great crocodile that crooked had Bariak serpent, Yeshea 271, which corresponds to the middle bar had Bariak in the midst of the board, Shema 2628, which is the secret of Tiferet, when the crocodiles who study Mishnah have a dispute and argue with each other, one swallows the other if he is a young student and has not yet reached the position of teacher, yet teaches all the same and is thus punishable by death. However, if all the students are in the same position yet have a difference of opinion, then it is said of them at the end, Behav in Sufi, Bidbar 2114, meaning that they have love at the end, Hebehav, Bisof, and of Rai Mahina.